Welcome to the second example in our numerical reasoning test series. As before, please pause the video once you've read through the example and try and work out the answer in your own time. You'll need a calculator and note paper and pen if you want to, to be able to work through this. And as before, start again once you're ready and I'll talk through the process of working this out. So the question in this case is, in Germany, the number of police officers rose from the 1st of January 2017 to the 31st of December 2017 by 16%. So you're looking at an annual figure, while the number of recorded crimes reduced over that same period by 11%. What is the ratio of police officers to crimes recorded in Germany as at the 31st of December 2016? So again here, we're going to use the figures for Germany only. You only need to use the figures because there's no mention of the other countries. So you zoom in on that data line only. And because you're trying to work out the figures at the end of the previous year, you need to use reverse percentage calculations to find the figures for both the number of police officers given in units and for the crimes recorded. You also need to understand that the crime figures for Germany need to add three zeros onto the end. So we're dealing with a figure of 6 million for the end of the year 2017, not 6,000. So in this case, we use the reverse percentage. And as you can see, so you have 249,400 divided by 116. So you've got to account for the 16% multiplied by 100, which gives you the 215,000. And then you have the 6 million divided by 89, taken off the 11%, multiplied by 100. And that's the number of crimes recorded. So in terms of the ratio, well again, you understand that ratio is required to work out the relative size of two or more values. So in this case, to find the ratio, you divide the 6,741,573 by 215,000, which equals 31.36. Now we're looking at police officers here, so you need to round up the units to 32. So the correct answer is C, 1 to 32.